Well, today we are by the water heater. Um, it's been two years since I drained this water heater. And uh, last time, whenever I had it drained, I had them install this thing here. Ion, polar ion polarization scalar reduction system. So we'll see if that does any trick. Uh, the water in our town is stupidly hard and uh, the water heater that was here for about 15 years before this one was here. Uh, don't know if it was ever drained. Probably not because it was in awful shape. Whenever I tried to drain it, nothing would drain out of it. But uh, I drained this one, yeah, two years ago. Um, had the water heater replaced like five years ago. And it might be to the point where I should change out the uh, little rod in there, um, whatever it's called. But uh, finally got some water to start coming out. It always kind of builds a vacuum in there. And, uh, you know, it's always kind of hard to get started. But, uh, yeah, kind of usually what I do, I feel like, is I just, uh, well, because it has been two years, so I, I was kind of just uh, figuring out as I go again. But, uh, you know, hooked up a hose, of course, turned off the water coming into it. And uh, this is the hot water going into the house, and I have that open right now. And that's the only reason I think it's actually able to get uh, a vacuum. But, uh, or it's like, it's able to break the vacuum. And then I have the pressure valve open. I don't know if I mentioned that. But I have a hose hooked up, got that open. I have the natural gas on just pilot. Um, and I guess you probably could turn it off. If it's electric, probably should turn it off. But uh, on pilot, I think it should be just fine. Anyways, got this running out here. Hello, Viper. Is he being a little watch cat? What's going on out there, buddy? Silly cat. He's a good little kitty. He's about five years old, too. Yeah, he's a good cat. I have it wrapped up around the, uh, it's probably really stupid, but I have it wrapped up around the grill brush um, so that it doesn't wildly whip back and forth and everything. I had the water turned on earlier, and that was whenever it was really white, uh, whipping out and stuff like that. Let's zoom in on that. You can kind of see a little bit of sediment there, and like if I go around here, some of this is just dirt, but like all these like little specks over here and everything, a lot of those are like the sediment buildup. Now, of course, they they installed that thing. Oh, I should probably go back to like one zoom. But uh, they installed that um, like maybe, I don't know, a couple months after I did the last flush. So some of that stuff might have been from like prior to them installing this. And probably the rest of it is probably the fact that, you know, these things aren't perfect. But uh yeah, it's always kind of hard to get a lot of the water out of it. I feel like whenever I've done this in the past, I let it drain for a little bit, and then I just turn on the water and flush it out a little bit. Um, I don't know. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, whatever. <laughs> and yeah, I'd probably need a longer hose to get out there, but um, oh well, that'll work. And it's also raining outside, as you could probably tell. So I don't really want to go out there too much. Although the cat apparently does want to go out there. So, I don't know. We'll just turn on the water and see if this thing whips around and stuff like that. See if we see you some crap coming out of there um in the past there has been a lot of crap that came out even after just like one year it's been wicked so i'll give that a little bit of water with this like quarter of thing open no i think i still have a faucet open so that's probably gonna make this go a lot slower so Let's fix that, actually. Yeah. That's probably not going to help. Yeah, certainly more water coming out. I can see the sediment, for sure. I don't know if it really shows that much on video. Because it's essentially, like, if you touch it, it just feels like basically salt. Um, okay, we'll cap basically salt, uh, essentially, that's kind of like clearish, but it's just sediment, really. I'll just turn it on full blast and see what happens. Oh yeah, wait, it's going down there after I bump that. I guess we can turn it on full blast and close this thing. How about that? Yeah, forgot about that, because yeah, once the tank fills up, I think it dumps out that. Oh, the cat's getting all flipped out. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Probably not great just being just putting up that siding, but uh, oh well. I'll move it here in a second after the video, but you can see it's a little discolored. Let me get out of here a little bit. Oh yeah. I feel 
grow brush is actually doing a pretty good job keeping that kind of away there. Oops, zoom, zoom a little bit out here. But not that much. Man, these new iPhones are a little tricky. Anyways, yeah, it looks like it's uh, certainly a little dirty. I feel like I can see a little bit of sediment like on bouncing off like the little sidewalk there too. So yeah, I think that thing probably helped a little bit. If I get any other clips, I'll like maybe just like post it as like a short or something. But um, yeah, this looks like uh, there's still plenty of crap in the water here. That's the thing is uh, whenever your city water sucks, that's just what happens. I don't know. It is what it is. If your city water isn't too bad, you probably don't really need to do this nearly that much, but uh, our city water sucks ass. Anyways, yeah, I'll go ahead and shut off the water for now, I guess. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. And uh, I don't know, really wasn't professional or anything, but uh, this is uh, kind of how I, how I do it. It's a little hard to mess with the whole pressure situation. Really probably the easiest, probably the best way to do it, I guess, is just to, I, I think what I've done in the past is I just kind of let this release valve open. And then you just kind of let it drain out and it takes a long time and then you just fill it back up. And before you fill it back up, you can turn the water on a couple times and just kind of kick up some stuff that's on the bottom and stuff like that, you know? And really, I probably could drain it in there. The only thing is then it goes through like the house plumbing and stuff like that. And some nasty stuff comes out of these water heaters. Anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you thought it was kind of cool. I don't know. Anyways, see you later.